What's going on? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker and I wanted to kind of go into the second phase of this how to make a movie uh, series that I'm kind of just putting together for all of the first time, second time uh, feature filmmakers or short filmers. Uh, short filmers, short filmmakers. If you're looking to step into that realm when you're working on your first project, I know that it can be overwhelming, right? So as someone that's made multiple feature films, um, I, I have a little experience within this space. So in the first uh, episode, I'm not gonna call it episode, but in the first video we talked about the script, right? You gotta start with your script. But right now, I want to go over breaking down the script so you can get it ready to shoot. This isn't breaking it down and on, on you know multiple people giving their opinion on what makes a story good or what makes a story bad. You have to write your own story, go with your own plot points, and, and, and make it your own story, right? Because if we all just follow, hey, beginning, middle, end, three arc structure, then we come to what's happening now and we all have the same films. But the way that you wanna break down your script, I'm gonna show it up right here on screen right now, um, is that you wanna break down your every single scene, you wanna break down your scene, you want to break down your actors in that scene, and then you want to break down the days, right? Is this a Monday? Is and, and are these four or five scenes after that, are they all Mondays, right? And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to be able to differentiate, you know, what the wardrobe is for your actors, especially if you're shooting out of order. Then, as you can see here on this sheet, this is what I have for my next film. And you can see that you have your scenes, your actors, the characters, the days are being represented by colors. So the actors know, or the actresses know, hey, when you come to set, bring these outfits, right? And then it's broken up into locations. Then from those locations, you can add, or what I like to do is I like to add my scenes to those locations. So when I book that location, I know exactly what scenes, I know exactly what day it is that we're shooting. This is literally broken down into a step-by-step -step science. You literally right now can go and take your script and follow this exact formula and your short film or your feature film or your music video will be super easy when it comes uh, to shooting the project, right? I'm sorry about my dogs, but they're in the background. So this is kind of how you want to break it down and you want to get it ready for pre-production. Because from here, especially on this spreadsheet, you can add, you know, whoever you want, your, your grip, your light, your DP, your cinematographer, or your script supervisor, whoever you want. And then from there you can decide, okay, this person's needed, this person isn't needed, because I'm going to tell you guys something right now, right? On big professional shoot, shoots, Unless you're doing a Marvel film and there's a bunch of green screen or you're on location and there's crazy stunts, a lot of times on these big projects, they're over bloated with people that aren't essential to, and this might get a lot of hate, but uh, not essential to, to getting that performance and getting that good look on screen, right? A lot of times you can go on a set and there'll be 300 people and in reality, you could cut that down to 30 and you got your set design, your sound design, your, your, your hairstylist, your, your, uh, cl your, your clothing, right? Your producer and your script supervisor. And you, you only really need core people to get it done. Now, from an indie level, you're going to wear more than one hat. And when you have budgets and as the budgets increase, you can hire more people to, to delegate tasks and jobs and, and roles. But you want to break down your project just like this. And I promise you this will help make your shooting a lot easier. Uh, I've come up with this formula after doing four films. Um, this works best for me. You may have your own way of breaking it down. But at least if you break down the entire script into something like this, it's a lot more digestible. It's easier for you to go out there and shoot right? It's easier for you to break it down and be like, okay, we just knocked out three days. We just knocked out 15 scenes. I have 20 left. Ooh, that's juicy, right? That's juicy. You're, you're right there. So 
Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, stay tuned for part three, where we'll go into the casting process. How do you get the actors? Where do you get the actors? And yeah, uh, I look forward to talking to you guys more about that. I'm Jason Park with Hyper2 Productions. I look forward to talking to you guys soon.